Hello, this is Charles Peachock. Today we're going to look at Go Button and its looping feature in intros and outros. It's one of a kind and it's a very cool feature if you're not sure how long your routine is going to be or if you want to have a lot of uh, leeway in there for uh, you know things that can go wrong or audience participation. So what you can do is pull up your show and what you do is you create a track uh, that's a loop and then you create an intro for the music and then you create an outro for that loop. So let's go ahead and go down and take a look at what they have. So this one is actually uh, the intro for the loop. So if you play that, it plays. And it follows right into the real loop. So now that uh, the intro loop has led into uh, the infinite loop. So the infinite loop is going. And then anytime you want to exit, you don't have to exit right at the end of it. You can exit anywhere in the track and it waits and knows at the end of it to go to the outro of that loop. So it's very cool that you can, you know, build an intro and then have an infinite middle and then be able to come out of it at any point. Um, to learn how to do this, um, you're going to have to go into another part of our tutorial, which is uh, advanced track features. Uh, we'll be covering that. Um, but yeah, this is a great feature, and uh, a lot of people use it. I highly recommend it. Um, this is Audio Ape. We'll see you at showtime.